Welcome back to another episode of Hood and Poop. So I hope you've enjoyed yesterday's video where we talk about, you know, the valuations for Upstart. I understand that the share price has ran up quite a fair bit. Currently, it's now about $193, even though, you know, when we do up the valuation table, it's about $180 of assumption. But it doesn't matter because what matters most is the share, the, the, the valuation share price that you intend to own. Okay, so... Offhand, right, roughly the valuation, you know, of what I showed yesterday ranged around, you know, less than 200, uh, anything less than $200 is considered pretty not too bad based on my valuation model. Okay, so with that, you have three options that you can choose from. The first is to just buy the shares directly, okay, which is around 197 per shares. That's it. Now, the second option, second way is to sell put. Okay, so if you want to sell put, okay, there are a lot of dates that you can sell, up to you how you choose. But for me, I usually always sell like the nearest put uh, uh, contract. So if you look at it this way, you know, uh, January, 44 days, I think it's pretty much okay. So I now it depends on what you want. So if let's say anything that's $200 to me is undervalued, so you can choose to sell whatever it is. Of course, the further you sell, the lesser, the cheap, the further away you sell from the share price, the lesser the premium you get. Okay, but if you sell nearer to it, you get more premium. So personally, I already have one at $170. I sold it when the share price uh, dropped to $168. I did that trade. Okay, so if I were to choose, so I can do it at uh, $195. You know? um, so what I need to do is that I need to make sure I have $19,500 of cash available for me you know, to to, to, to buy the shares in case the share price drops more than 195, okay? Uh, in, because of that, you know, do so, I, I actually have about, you know, maybe 2,500 of cash collected, yeah, by doing this trade instantaneously, okay? So that's one, that's the second way you can do about. Of course, you can do other uh, months of options, but I generally don't really recommend other months because I always tend to try to, you know, sell, as a seller of put, you try to sell as shorter as it is so that you can, quickly get the cash on hand, okay? Now, you can, the third way, you can also choose to buy an options trade instead. So what you can do is that, you know, you could choose to buy a, a long call or rather lead call, okay? Um, perhaps, you know, for me, you can choose to buy like maybe around, maybe around here, yep. Uh, so what happened is that, you know, I probably need to spend around close to uh, ten thousand dollars okay just to buy one contract of this lead call okay so what's the benefit of doing a lead call on this contract basically it's more like you know you just you 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 it's more like when the share price goes up okay your contract will be more valuable okay and with more valuable you will profit from it in a very simpler term but if the share price don't go up if the share price tank or the share price don't move then your this trade will be in a loss potentially, and you could even lose it all. You can just lose your capital of nine of ten thousand uh, dollars. I mean, round it up. I did cover this in my options trade. Okay, in my options uh, video. Okay, so please go and watch it before you do any trade on this because I don't want you to guys to get burned. Okay, so basically this is the whole thinking process of options trade. Okay, uh, and what you can do, but but generally, if you ask my opinion, right, if the share price is below. Uh, my, 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 my valuation, I'll just buy the shares. Okay, the reason why I did a, a put contract here is because I already own the shares and this is just, you know, for me to generate some uh, cash uh, and if need be, I, would, I don't mind just buy the shares over. Okay, so I hope, you know, by this coverage of video, all right, will allow you to understand, you know, what is uh, my strategy when after I do up my valuations, nothing changed. It's very similar to how I do it for Aki. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next video. Invest safe.